friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. I cannot wait to share all of these recipes with you guys for this week's meal prep. We're gonna do a breakfast, a lunch, and a one Smart Point Frosted Cupcake. So everything is amazing, everything is low point and absolutely delicious. So if you wanna see what I have on the menu for meal prep for the upcoming week, all you have to do is stay tuned. For my breakfast this week, I'm going to be making hash brown cups. I cannot wait to have these. I love hash browns. They get nice and crispy in this recipe. So good. And then I'm gonna pair that with a little bit of turkey bacon and some fruit. So let me show you first what is in the hash brown cups. So you can either use shredded potatoes or you can use a russet potato, soak it, drain all the liquid, too much work for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Orita shredded hash brown potatoes. You'll need some skim milk or skim milk alternative, some sort of oil. I'm gonna go ahead and use this extra virgin olive oil, some eggs, some broccoli, and some light shredded cheese. And then I'm going to pair mine with this Sam's Choice uncured turkey bacon and a fruit. So let's get started putting together our hash brown cups. So the first thing we need to do for our hash brown cups is go ahead and grab a medium sized bowl. To that bowl, we're gonna add our hash browns. I ended up with just a little over two cups of shredded hash browns. That's all I have left in the bag, which I think is going to be absolutely plenty. And then to that, we are going to add two teaspoons of olive oil. And then we're just gonna give this a stir, get everything nice and combined, and then we're ready to put our potato mixture into our cupcakes. Once your hash brown mixture is nice and combined with your olive oil, you're going to take your cupcake pan. I went ahead and sprayed them really well with nonstick cooking spray. And then you're going to equally divide your hash brown mixture into your cupcakes pan here and we're just going to push them down and basically create essentially a little nest and that's what all the rest of our ingredients are going to go into so you can evenly divide your hash brown mixture between all six compartments this recipe does make six servings so if you want more than that you can double the recipe but i'm just going to have one of these hash brown cups a day because i'm also going to be having some turkey bacon so i want to make sure that i don't overdo the points on breakfast so again we'll get these all filled up push down to make little nests and then we'll be ready to add some more of our ingredients into our hash brown cups. So here's what they should look like once you've pushed them down and kind of pulled them up the sides of your cupcake tin. Now we're gonna get together our egg mixture and we're just about done. This is quick and easy. Next, we're gonna get our egg mixture combined. So I'm just using the same bowl. What I have here is four cracked eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those. We have one quarter cup of milk or milk alternative. We also have one quarter cup of light shredded cheese. And I decided to add a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of onion salt to mine just to kind of add a little bit of flavor. I love onion salt in my eggs, as you know. And then we're just gonna whisk this together until fully combined. And then we'll be ready to start assembling our egg cup. So just grab your whisk, get it nice and combined. You wanna make sure that that cheese is intermixed and then that milk will help fluff up your eggs as well. And now let's put together these hash brown cups. Next, we're gonna take one half of a cup of chopped up broccoli, and we're just gonna evenly divide the broccoli in our little hash brown cups. You can do as much or as little in each cup, but the recipe does call for an entire half of a cup of broccoli. So we're gonna get that nice and applied. This gives it that nice healthy dose of vegetables. And then to that is where we're gonna go ahead and add our egg mixture to the top. So evenly divide out your broccoli. Make sure you're pushing it down so that your eggs don't totally overfill everything. And then you're gonna take your egg mixture. I'm gonna do it by like the quarter cup and you're just gonna apply that to the top of your egg cup. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot. So make sure you really are pushing down your hash browns and your broccoli. 
So I've filled my hash brown cups with the egg mixture and they are nice and full. So I do even have a little bit left of the egg mixture, but I'm still going to count the full amount of points. So we're going to pop these in the oven at 400 degrees until they come out nice and crispy. We want the hash brown cup crispy and we want the egg cooked completely through. So to cook my turkey bacon, I have two halves or one full paper towel here. I'm gonna cook my turkey bacon in the microwave. So I'm going to put two slices on one half of my paper towel, fold it over, and then I'm just going to cook it in the microwave for three minutes and literally it comes out perfectly crispy and then I'm just going to put it into my meal prep containers. So I'll just do five rounds of three minutes for the turkey bacon. So I just pulled my turkey bacon out. I did decide to do two minutes so that it's not fully cooked because I'm gonna have to reheat this at work. So this is two minutes, it's perfect. I'm just gonna continue cooking the rest of my packs and then we'll put these into our meal prep containers. So our hash brown cups are out of the oven. These look absolutely delicious. So now we're ready to pop these out and assemble our meal prep. So I have my bacon here. I also destemmed and washed some grapes. So let's put these meal preps together and then I'll give you the smart points. So here is our hash brown cup. Once I popped it out of the muffin pan and just added it here to my meal prep container, they look delicious. I did realize when I was figuring the smart points that you are supposed to cook the hash browns first in your oven to get them crispy before you add the broccoli and eggs. Now, I don't mind because I'm gonna be reheating mine all week anyways, but if you do decide to recreate this recipe, which I highly recommend, make sure that you do cook your hash browns first and then add your broccoli and your egg mixture. So let me put together the rest of my meal prep here. So I have one of those cute little hash brown cups. I'm going to add two slices of the Sam's Choice Turkey Bacon. And then I'm going to bag up in a little Ziploc bag some grapes. So let me put together these meal preps and I'll be back to show you the completed breakfast. So here is my completed breakfast meal prep. This looks so incredibly delicious. What a good whole foods, high protein, satisfying breakfast. So let me show you. First, we have one of our hash brown cups. These, you guys, are so good. I just had one for breakfast. Amazing, even without crisping up those hash browns, these are so good. And they are only two smart points a piece. And that includes the cheese, the hash browns, yumminess for two points. Each one of my pieces of the Sam's Choice Turkey Bacon is one smart point. So that's an additional two smart points. I'm going to pair that with a mix here of my black and red grapes. So this entire breakfast meal prep is only four smart points. And everything is a fresh, delicious, back to the basics, whole food. So this, my friends, is my four smart point breakfasts for the week. For lunches this week, I'm going to be making a Weight Watcher recipe directly from the app. And this is a ramen noodle salad. And I'm going to pair that with some chicken and also some fruit. So let me show you first what is in the ramen noodle salad. So first you're going to need some rice vinegar, some canola oil or any kind of oil that you have. The recipe calls for canola and I had it, so I'm going to use it. You'll need some Splenda or sugar alternative, soy sauce, sliced almonds, slivered almonds, whatever type of almonds you want. The recipe called for sunflower seeds, but I'm gonna use pepitas. I like them better in this type of a dish, but you could do either one. You're also going to need some green onions, a bag of coleslaw, and as crazy as it sounds, a package of top ramen. So that is everything that's in the salad. And then I'm just going to cook up some chicken breast and I'm gonna go ahead and marinate it in this G Hughes sugar-free teriyaki marinade. This marinade is so good, you guys, zero points. And then of course I'll pair it with some fruit. So let's get started on our salad. So the first thing you need for your salad is a nice big bowl. To that bowl, you're gonna go ahead and add your bag of your coleslaw mix. And then you also are going to add four really thin sliced green onions. So I went ahead and cut those up as thin as possible. And we're just gonna give this a good mix. We kind of wanna make sure the coleslaw and the green onions are well mixed in together before we start preparing our dressing. So just make sure your green onions are nice and combined in here with your coleslaw. Next, we're gonna put together the dressing. So what I have here is 1 8 cup of rice wine vinegar. 
I have two tablespoons of canola oil. And then I have five teaspoons of Truvia. I went ahead and used Truvia. You could really use any sweetener alternative. And then you're gonna add a teaspoon of soy sauce. And then you're gonna stir this together. And that's it, you guys. I mean, literally your salad is pretty much done. And then we're just gonna set this aside until we're ready to assemble our lunch preps of our Asian salad. So there is your dressing for your noodle salad. Once you get your dressing stirred together, you're gonna go ahead and add the packet from the ramen. So you're adding in that chicken flavoring and go ahead and stir that into your dressing as well. And we're gonna prep this a little bit different because I don't wanna add the dressing or the almonds, pepitas, or ramen noodles until right before we eat. So let me show you how I'm going to put together my salad. So to put together the salad portion of my lunches for the week, this recipe makes six servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the coleslaw mix and I'm just gonna add it to the large compartment of my meal prep. Now the coleslaw and the green onions is zero, so it doesn't matter if you go a little bit extra on the cabbage. You can see here that I went ahead and I measured out one sixth of the ramen noodles, which was just about 12 or so grams. I also did about a half a taste tablespoon of pepitas and sliced almonds, which is also one sixth of the recipe. So this obviously I don't want added to my salad until right before I'm going to eat it. I also divided that dressing into six containers as well. So this is one sixth of the dressing. So my plan is, is I'm just going to pop my dressing container in with my cabbage, and then I'm simply going to just lay my noodles, almond, pepita mixture on top. And then when I go to eat my lunch, I'll add the dressing and I'll add the crunchy ingredients. That way they stay nice and crunchy. So I'm gonna get these assembled and then we'll be ready to get our chicken cooking. So I went ahead and cut up my chicken breasts. You can see here that I've removed all visible fat and then I've sliced them in half so that they're thin. To my chicken, I'm gonna be adding in the G Hughes sugar-free teriyaki marinade. I love this marinade. I'm gonna add the last of the half of the bottle here to my chicken and then I'm going to just seal up my bag, remove as much of the air as you can when you're doing this. Seal up your bag and just kind of squish it around. Get that teriyaki kind of all over your breasts of chicken. I'm gonna throw this in the fridge and let this kind of sit in the marinade for a few minutes while the oven warms up. And then I'm gonna bake these in the oven. I think it's the fastest way to cook this amount of chicken versus in your air fryer. So I will be back once the oven is warmed up and show you how I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna get our chicken ready to go into the oven. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing with that teriyaki sauce. So I'm just going to pull out the breasts and I'm going to just place them on some parchment paper. They are coated in the teriyaki, I mean coated. So I think that it'll really have that nice teriyaki flavor to them. And then I'm just going to throw these in the oven on 375 until they're cooked all the way through. And then we will go ahead and put together our meal prep containers because everything will be done. So I am just taking a little bit of the teriyaki here out of the bag and just kind of laying it on top of the chicken breasts. All right, these look delish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these into the oven. I just pulled my teriyaki chicken out of the oven. You guys, this looks amazing. My house smells even better. So I'm gonna let this cool for just a couple of minutes. We'll put it into my meal prep container and then I'll show you exactly what I'm taking for lunches and give you the smart points. So here is my completed lunch prep for the week. I am prepping for five days because I'm planning on eating my lunch prep tomorrow, Monday, even though I'm off. For the day you guys see this video, I'm still planning on eating my meal prep. So let me show you what I'm taking. So I have one of the thin slice, so basically this is half of a chicken breast that I marinated in the G Hughes teriyaki. So this is zero smart points. And then I have one sixth of that Asian salad. You guys, I cannot wait for this. What a great salad for summer. Crunchy, fresh, delicious. So that is five smart points. I'm going to be taking a little baggie of watermelon each day. 
And then for dessert, I'm gonna take my favorite thing ever, which are these sweet nothings. This is the caramel pecan cluster, 30 calories per piece. And I'm telling you, you guys, these taste like you drove up to a chocolatier and ordered it out of the case. It is that delicious, and they are one smart point a piece. Now, if you have two pieces, it bumps it up to three points with that fabulous Weight Watcher math, but one piece, one point, that's usually what I have just to give me that sweetness after lunch. You can buy Sweet Nothings on Protein Wise's website. Down below in the description box is the link. Click the link. Enter my code and you'll actually get $10 off your first order. So you can buy three bags of Sweet Nothings for free. So $10 off your first order on the Protein Wise website. So check that out below. So it is five points for the salad, one point for the Sweet Nothing. So you guys, this entire lunch, six points. And crazy that that is only six points. For a sweet treat this week, I'm gonna be making carrot cake protein cupcakes. These are frosted as well, you guys, so they are legit cupcakes. So let me show you what is in these carrot cake cupcakes. First, you're going to need some protein powder. I highly recommend the Devotion Nutrition. This is the Angel Food Cake. In my opinion, this is the best protein powder on the market for baking. It's also the best tasting protein powder. There is no aftertaste, no chalky, no weird protein texture or taste. It's absolutely delicious. They do have the angel food cake and they also have brownie batter, which is their chocolate protein. I love that one so much. One scoop of the angel food cake is only one point. One scoop of the brownie batter is two points. So definitely worth it. Love it. So I'm going to be using this as the protein source in my cupcakes. You can order this on Devotion Nutrition's website. It is linked down in the description box below. I'll put my code here on the screen, but it saves you 10%. I'm gonna be using this exclusively here on out, so make sure you pick it up if you wanna do some of my recipes that I'm gonna be showing you because this is my new favorite thing in the world. I'm also going to be adding some of the Kodiak cakes. This is the buttermilk and chia. You need some sort of pancake mix. You can use Kodiak or birch benders, whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna be using Truvia as my sugar substitute. We're gonna need eggs, non-fat Greek yogurt, and as I said, these are frosted, so I'm gonna be using the Pillsbury sugar-free vanilla frosting, some julienne or shredded carrots, vanilla extract, three quarters of a cup of water, some protein powder, pumpkin pie spice, you guys. This pumpkin spice, from Dax is literally the best. No salt in any of Dax seasonings, nothing artificial, all real ingredients, and the flavor is on point. So I do have 10% off for Dax as well. If you click the link down in the description box, enter my code, it'll save you 10%. And Dax also will offer you free shipping with my code. So get on there, order some spices. Again, I use their spices all the time. You'll be seeing them a lot in my upcoming videos. And wait until fall, my friends. I'm gonna be using the heck out of this pumpkin spice. So we do need that. And then we also just need some cinnamon. So that is everything that is in our carrot cake protein cupcakes. So the first thing that we're gonna do is mix together kind of our sauce for our cupcakes before we do our dry ingredients. So what I have here is three quarters of a cup of water. I also have three tablespoons of Truvia, and I'm just gonna kind of stir as I go. I wanna make sure that sugar gets nice and combined with the water. We have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're also going to add in one egg. And then lastly, we're gonna add in one quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. And then we are just gonna stir this all together and that's going to make this basically this is our wet ingredients of our cupcakes and then we're going to pull another bowl out and we'll mix together all of our dry ingredients next we're going to mix together all of our dry ingredients so first i have one cup of the kodiak cake buttermilk mix mine has chia which is completely fine with me you're not even going to know notice that at all i have one cup of my very favorite devotion angel food cake protein powder we're also going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm gonna do a nice level teaspoon of that. I'm also going to add in some cinnamon. You know I don't usually measure my spices. I want a lot of flavor in these carrot cake muffins. And then I'm also going to add in my Dax pumpkin 
spice oh, yum and then we're going to give this a nice big stir make sure all of our dry ingredients are nice and incorporated together and then we're going to add in our wet ingredients and our carrots and you guys that's it easy peasy so let me get this all mixed together and we'll move on to the next step we're ready to add in our wet ingredients so this is our wet go ahead and add all of that and then we're gonna mix this together. Now you wanna be careful with these cupcakes, not to over mix. It'll make your cupcake dry and spongy. So you wanna just nicely mix and incorporate the wet ingredients into the dry. And then we're also gonna add in a quarter cup of our shredded carrots. And then again, we're just gonna mix that in, gently fold in those carrots. And then we're ready to fill our muffin tin up and we are going to have carrot cake cupcakes. While these are cooking, we'll get our frosting together, and there you have it. Doesn't that look delicious? So I've went ahead and lined my muffin tin with my silicone liners. You can buy these off of Amazon. They're really inexpensive. They're washable, reusable, love them. I went ahead and added those. They are linked in my Amazon store, as well as all of my scoops that I use. You can get a three or four scoop pack, and I wanna say it's like $10. These are also linked down in my Amazon store. So we wanna make sure that we're getting 12 cupcakes. So I don't wanna overfill because I wanna make sure that my points stay at the super low points that these are. You guys, wait till you see these for the points value. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my muffin cups. I wanna fill all 12 and then we'll get ready to put these into the oven. all 12 of my liners filled you guys I cannot wait for these I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 350 we want to make sure they get fully cooked through and then we'll be back to show you the finished cupcake I just pulled the carrot cake cupcakes out of the oven look at these yum yum so I'm gonna let these cool for just a few minutes I'm going to pop them out of the silicone linings and then we are going to add some frosting and a little cinnamon on top and I'll give you the smart points and show you our completed cupcakes so here are carrot cake cupcakes. I just pulled them out of the silicone liners. So now let's get these little gems frosted. So what I have here is two tablespoons of the sugar-free vanilla frosting. I just melted it down in the microwave. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to drizzle it over the top of all of our cupcakes. That's why I kind of put them close together here on the foil so that when we drizzled, we kind of combine them all together with the frosting. And then I'm gonna go the opposite way as well. Hang on, let me finish that, there we go. And then we're gonna go the opposite way and we're just gonna add that delicious frosting on all of our carrot cake cupcakes. Okay, you guys, these look so incredibly good. Oh, yum. Who doesn't love carrot cake? And then when you add that delicious vanilla frosting, yes, please. And then to that, I'm going to add some ground cinnamon. So we're just gonna gently sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon on top of all of our cupcakes. Look at that, yum. That delicious cinnamon, frosting. Okay, what could be better than these? And here is our completed carrot cake cupcake. So delicious, you guys. These are amazing. They are only one smart point. That's right, one point for a frosted cupcake what a deal so definitely a must make recipe these are fantastic so here's what i'm going to be taking for snacks for this upcoming week i'm only working four days because i'm actually off on monday oven's ready off on monday so i don't need to pack snacks for monday i'll just be eating at home so i am going to take my little packs of these carrots i really like these it just makes packing up carrots so much easier and then i did buy this bag of sugar snap peas at trader joe's so i think i'm just going to take the whole bag with me and throw it in the fridge and then each day i will grab a handful of the snap peas and i'll grab a little bag of the carrot so that'll be a really good veggie snack for my morning snack i always take the built bar you know this i love built bar so this week i'm going to take some one of the chocolate strawberry the double chocolate the coconut and the cinnamon now you guys the cinnamon is actually 
one of my very favorites. It's super controversial. Some like it, some don't. I love the cinnamon. These bars are three smart points, which is insane because they taste like a candy bar. Real chocolate coating, 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, six fiber, four sugar, four fat, three smart points. That's it, you guys. Full of protein, so it keeps me full between morning and lunch. So these are available on builtbar.com. If you use my code here on the screen, not only will you receive 10% off, but you will also get free shipping. And right now they have a fantastic promotion going where if you buy two full boxes, now you can buy just a single flavor, you can buy a mixed box kind of like I have here. If you buy two full boxes, you will receive six free of the brand new flavor. It is on the way to me, blueberry cheesecake. Yes, blueberry cheesecake, yum. You'll get six bars for free. That's a $10 value. So get two boxes of whatever built bars you want. You can even order full boxes of the blueberry cheesecake if you know you're gonna love it and they'll send you six of those for free. What a deal. So definitely order yourself some built bars. WW Game Changer right here, guys. I'm also going to throw some of these Crunch Master Brownie Thins, just a few of these into my snack drawer at work in case I'm hungry. I love these. These taste like the crunchy corners of your brownie pan. Really good. They have some protein in there, which makes them even a better snack choice. They're gluten free. This brand is, or this flavor is salted caramel. You can have. 32 thins for three smart points. I just knock down the number of thins. I'll put it here on the screen how many for two smart points. I wanna say it's 20 something. So I usually will do that for two smart points. It's a great snack of protein, but also that sweetness that you kinda of want in a snack. So I love these. These are linked down in my Amazon store below so you can order them directly on Amazon. And then lastly, I am going to be taking a light and fit Greek yogurt. I really like this flavor, this tiramisu. So I'm gonna be bringing one of these each day to work. And then I'm gonna just top it with a tablespoon of my favorite granola. Now, if you guys love granola as much as I do, you can't eat it on WW. I mean, you can, because we can eat whatever we'd like, but it is very high in points. So this pro granola is the granola you've been desiring for small points. So here's the stats on this particular granola. And this is the vanilla cluster. This particular one is vegan. They do use a pea protein as the protein source. It is paleo and keto friendly. So if you follow those plans, excellent choice. Low net carbs, high protein, gluten-free, grain-free, nothing artificial, no soy, no GMO. And I love that there are no preservatives. You can have an entire half of a cup of this granola for two points. That's it. Two smart points, and that's a lot of granola. That's enough that you can top it with some almond milk and make it a breakfast. And you're getting some protein. You're getting 12 grams of protein. But my favorite way to eat this is I take about a tablespoon and I just top my light and fit Greek yogurt with it, and it just adds that added crunch, and it's zero extra points. So not only am I having a granola topped yogurt, I'm getting some protein, and all I have to count for is the points of the yogurt. So this would be a two smart point snack. So. Definitely order Julian Bakery Granola. The best price is directly on their website. I do have it linked down in my description box below. So click the link, enter the code down in the description box and order yourself some granola. It will save you 10% and my code also gets you free shipping. So that my friends is a bargain. So if you wanna talk WW Game Changers, this one and this one. So that is my snacks that I'm bringing for the upcoming four day work week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the recipes that I shared with you guys. Everything tastes amazing. I cannot wait for my breakfast and my lunches. And of course, those carrot cake cupcakes frosted. You can't go wrong for one smart point. Make sure that you hop on devotionnutrition.com. Use the link and my discount code below. Save yourself 10%. You are going to be seeing devotion in most of my recipes. It is seriously the best protein powder for not only drinking protein shakes, but especially for baking. So make sure that you check them out. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Ring that little notification bell. That way you'll get notified every single time that I upload. I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's meal prep. Which recipe was your favorite? And are you gonna give some of these recipes a try? And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.